Coming up on this spectacular Halloween update, I'll be sharing with you all the information around Scarefest 2022 at the Alton Towers Resort so far, including maze details, family entertainment details and what's still to be announced. I'll also be sharing my predictions as to what could still be announced for the resort and also my thoughts on what's been announced so far. It's time for another spectacular Halloween update on Ghost Channel YouTube channel. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, through all six of all ages, Coaster Child here, the C-H-A-L-L, dogs to born but built for theme parks, and your theme park journalist worldwide. Today, we're going to be sharing some exciting news on Alton Towers Scarefest, as three of the mazes have been revealed so far as of recording this for tonight or tomorrow, and uh, we've got all the family stuff revealed as well. So... Let's get into this straight away. Please do like, comment, subscribe, cut the case bell, snap YouTube video. All social media are in the description down below as well. And for now, let's get into this one. So we're kicking off with the family stuff, starting with Garden Lights Walk, Whispering Souls. This scare fest, come to Alton Towers Resort and enjoy the gardens as never before. And witness them come to life in a whole new spectacular light. A mysterious energy runs through the Alton Towers Resort Gardens Water. Around here people say it brings lost souls back from the dead for All Hallows Eve. Hear that whisper? Who knows you might have fantastical company on the way. Are you ready to get spookalicious? Join the five super freaky Halloween characters in their mind-blowingly multicolored playground on the front lawns. Enjoy spectacular shows, meet and greets, photo opportunities and more. Join Patch's Halloween party, it's bigger and better than ever, and hear ghostly tales from Spooky Skelvin. So much fun, it is scary. It's the freaky fun zone. Dress up in your favourite costume and join the CBB's characters live in Big Fun Show Time as they dance, play games and learn all about spooky things. Featuring Bing, Ubercorn, Peter Rabbit and many more of your favourite CBB's friends. Have a dance and whip up a storm in CBB's Land Monster Ball. Finally, it's the Alton Ancestors, a classic from the last few years. Hear that scraping sound? It's gravestones being moved. The Alton Ancestors are back from the dead and it's in their favourite haunts. Standing still is not an option, so celebrate Halloween by learning their dance moves and joining in. So there we are, that is the family stuff for Scarefest this year. No hints of anything new for the families. Uh, Trick or Treat Town doesn't sound like it's coming back either, which is obviously a real, real shame, um, because I did hear some good reviews from that attraction last year, so uh, it is a shame to, to, looks like we're losing that this year. Um, the family stuff for me does need a real upgrade for me um, I think hopefully next year we'll see some more stuff for CBB's Land because I know I, I know quite a few people have said uh, CBB's Land's not really had a, a brand new show since 2019 um, and, and that in includes Halloween so uh, yeah I think CBB's Land maybe could do with a brand new show for Halloween next year but we'll still enjoy what's what's coming this year the Monsters Ball's always been a popular hit with the families and the kids so um, you know it's good to see them reusing the classic entertainment that's that's kept the area somewhat alive uh, during the Halloween season uh, the Alton Ancestors are always great, great family favourites and um, yeah the family stuff is definitely great to experience and fingers crossed I'll be down there at Alton Towers this year to uh, experience Scarefest but uh, that's enough of the family stuff, the kids, the families if you're watching this part and you've loved what we've loved so far then that is brilliant but please look away now as we've got the really scary stuff coming up. So let's go through each individual maze in detail. here people talk of the governess and how she's haunted by the death of her younger charges. 
how she wants revenge, and how she take it by seizing the spirits of the living in retribution. They say her ghost haunts the attic, that's where you're headed. Dare you risk your immortal soul? The Attic Terror of the Towers is recommended for those aged 15 plus. But these are all of The skin snatchers, we call them. Outcasts, their whole family. Rumoured they're living in that old mine. It's deep and dark and damp. Inside gives you the proper shivers. Just recently, recently some fool opened it. For tours. Be careful. They say those skin snatchers have a secret too horrifying for words. Beauty's only skin deep. Remember that. Altonville Mine Tours is also recommended for those at the age of 15 plus. Ever heard of the legend of the mutiny? for a terrifying new adventure aboard the mutiny a notoriously spine chilling ghost ship you'll truly earn your golden piece of eight by venturing into the darkest depths avoiding the hazardous calls of the treacherous sirens dodging the swords of the terrifyingly ghoulish pirate mutineers and come face to face with the kraken the legendary monster of the seas darkest depths is recommended for those over the age of 12. And lastly, another scare experience is set to be announced soon. Now, we're going to be talking more about that in a bit more detail in a little bit. However, let's first of all go over the three uh, returning mazes and then speak a little bit about the new scare experience. So that is the thrilling stuff coming to Scarefest this year, along with, of course, rides in the dark. Riding your favourite roller coasters like Nemesis, Galactica, Smiler, Wickerman, 13, Rita. You can also check out Jewel's progress in the dark because, of course, Jewel will be closed by October. So you can check out the construction of the set to be returning Haunted House, original Haunted House, in a brand new way, set to reopen in 2023 during Scarefest. And you can bet your lucky backsides I'll be down there to bring with exclusive construction updates on the brand new ride set to replace Jewel for 2023 during Scarefest. You know I will. But let's focus on the three maze returning this year before we go in a bit more detail, debating, predicting, and um, possibly overlooking the situation around the new scare experience for this year's event. So first of all, the three returning mazes. The Attic Terror of the Towers, Onville Mind Tours, Legend of the Skin Snatchers, and of course, who could forget? Who could forget Darkest Depths, which is very highly rated over the last couple of years. So, the Attic Terror of the Towers heard some good reviews from that last year. Um, definitely some sections were better than others, but overall a decent maze from what I hear. So, hopefully, fingers crossed this year. Cannot wait to try that. Darkest Depths, very highly raced over the last couple of years. Nice, dark, pirate theme. Um, slightly less scary than the others, hence by the age rating. But for me, again, something I'm really looking forward to trying. And also, Altonville Mind Tours, The Legend of the Skin Snatchers. Again, Really love the look of that. I think a lot of people have said for a couple of years that this maze kind of had its time, uh, but it's good to see it keep going for another year. Uh, so we'll fully judge whether this maze does need to go or not next year uh, when we hopefully, fingers crossed, try it out this October. Now, 
In comes number four, which is the new scary experience, which is set to be revealed at some point soon. And this is what I was mentioning in the Secret Weapon 9 video, when we spoke about Nemesis of Terror at the start and the work taking place inside the building. Now, if this new scary experience isn't related to Subterra, i.e. not something to do with the old Project 42 or anything thing to Nemesis. If it looks like it's going to be somewhere else, then we can definitely hint more towards Subterra returning as the ride experience. Because there has been a lot of touches inside that ride building now that's more than just Scare Maze work. I think if it was a Scare Maze, there would have been less done. And that's not saying anything bad about Scare Maze. I think that... I think with this much work happening to the actual building, I think it's got to be something drastic in terms of a scare attraction, or it's going to be some kind of new Nemesis of Terror experience returning, if you know what I mean. So, I think, again, it's going to be very, very interesting to see what this could be. For me, personally, I'm still 50-50 as to whether it will be located in Nemesis of Terror's old building. Um, but either way, in terms of a new scare experience, I'm generally very, very excited about this. I think it's going to be very, very interesting to see what it's going to be and what it'll look like. Um, I think that the part usually does scare mazes quite well, so I'm very, and, and experience is quite well as well. So I'm very excited to see what this is going to be. And of course, we'll bring you another update when we get more news on that particular attraction. So that is Scarefest 2022, Darkest Depths, The Attic Terror of the Towers, Altonville Mind Tours, a new scare experience set to be announced soon. Uh, as well as all the family stuff, the ancestors, the CBB's monsters ball, the freaky fun zone, uh, the guard, uh, the whispering, uh, the, the garden of uh, the garden walk, whispering light of souls. Um, again, just absolutely fantastic arrangement of stuff to do at Scarefest, and uh, congratulations to Alton Towers Resort. So there we are, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. And for now, I am the C H A L L Dongster Born Book Book for Theme Parks, and your theme park journalist. Keep living the coaster life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a towers-tastic day.